All right, welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Miles, the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, my girl, Tonya, your mother-in-law's favorite... Your mother's favorite daughter-in-law. Your mother's favorite daughter-in-law, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I, but it's, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> Anyways, like I said earlier, we, had a, we have a very interesting personality in the building. Like, uh, when we talk about music, uh, this person, he has it all. He knows it all. So let me just read his profile small so we get straight to it. Okay. Uh, Abolade Abdul Haziz. Ola Kunle, popularly known as Fire DJ Flemzy, aka the Kingmaker, is a multi-talented DJ, producer, a music enthusiast, a businessman in the music industry, founder and CEO of the Flames and Management Company designed for Strictly DJs. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, you. boys and girls, please welcome to the studio, DJ Flemzy. Flemzy, what's Thank good, you. man? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Fire welcome Nation. to the show. You don't shake me too. Oh, I was going, okay. Mm. Hug me, right? I wanted to, but... No, um, you people don't hug. What's this all this? You guys don't hug. Keep okay. it hugging. Keep it hugging. Flames, how you doing? It? How's it? It's, 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 been, it's been ages. Last time I think I saw you, it was like seven years ago. Was it seven years ago? Seven, wow. Yes, about that. Seven That's years ago. Time. And you still, you, still, you still look the same. You know, you know they agree old. Vampire. Oh, Oshie. vampire jeans. You know, have you seen my mom? Have you seen my... Okay, my dad is late, but my mom. She's like she, she, sixty something. She still looks like she still looks like a hottie. Wow. Very petite and cute. I mean, your jeans are amazing, good. amazing stuff. We have to do some entanglement, maybe. You know. I got you. Okay, so me, I'm going to jump straight into it, right? <laughs> this is the first thing I, I want to ask. Like, explain this to me, please. I do not understand it. I'm not saying I'm not capping. I actually don't understand it. Yeah. Now, when a DJ uh, features an artist mm -hmm. and they do a song together. And most times, the DJ doesn't even say anything. Just, he's just jumping up and inside the video. Yeah, and the artist does all the singing. How come the credit belongs to the DJ? Two ways. Yeah. Please. Maybe the DJ came up with the idea of the song. Right. Maybe the artist needed the DJ's profile to push the song. Right. Or they just want to make money together. Mutual agreement. Because in, in some cases, the DJ might be a producer too. And okay. at times, the DJ might be like, um, that's the idea. Okay, he has the, like now, he has the link to this artist. Hmm. You, you want to feature this artist. So they just use the DJ and the DJ gets song. You know, yeah, feature this okay. one, feature this one. So the major point is from the split sheet. A lot of people don't know. That's what's causing problem with this um, Machala people. Okay, oh. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's called split sheet. DJ might have just 40% and then the act, the, by probably feature Mayor Kun and then Corey Bello. So Mayor Kun have like, say, 20. Already has like 20, Distro has 20. So it's like the split shade. So mm. the name is just the one to sell the song. Like, okay, probably feature oh. DJ Flamesy now. Oh. It might be my mm. song. I might produce the beat. Or probably it's my idea. Like, okay, you, I want this, I want this. So, because we DJs don't really like to sing. We just like to play the song. Exactly. So we just need a promotion. Like, okay, you, everybody needs to do a song now to stay relevant. You know, you just have to be playing, playing again. So, mm. okay, so the, the song now blues now. Like it always does. Most times, most yeah. songs DJs have done. Mm -hmm. The song now blues. How do you guys manage performances? Like, when you have to go and perform somewhere, will you go and start performing? Like, every way, every time, will you go and be performing by yourself, or what, what, how, do, how do you manage that? Uh, it depends, too. Mm -hmm. That's why I say there's, there's, there's something called performing rights. If you don't have the performing rights, you can't perform the song. Hmm. So, it depends on the yeah. agreement before the song is being made, you get what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you want to perform now, a DJ might be playing a gig, and then, lucky for him, the artist in the future is performing in the same gig. So just play your song. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. DJ Flamesy, you just Damn. do. Yo, yo, yo. At times, my dad might not be there, but probably you said something and then that's your, you know, it's still your song. Like this um, DJ is always doing it. Exclusive then. Exclusive does it. He's always performing yeah. his song. He does I didn't say what. So that's it. And Spino has started doing it too. So I think I'll do it next week. Okay. Oh, okay. Talking about next week. We'll, we'll get back to next week. You want to ask him something before yeah, I dig in? Yeah, I wanted to ask, like, you actually own um, a DJ DJ school, somewhat like that. Yeah. And you train DJs like oh, in the art of people. this jockey. Like, how did you come up with that? Has that been something you've been thinking of for a while? Subconsciously happened because the thing mm. about it is that I've been I've been behind the scene for a long time. Yep. You get Intentionally. Me? Intentionally. Okay. So there's this guy that's always telling me, claims you need to because me I like that we are the guy behind the guy okay. making bread and all those papa salad things. <laughs> So um, I, 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 people come to me like Flamesy, I want to learn. So I taught a couple of guys, like three in the beginning. And then while I was living where I, where I met Miles, I left one of them there. And now he's a big DJ in the industry. And I did it again in another place, another radio station. I was like, okay, yeah, I can actually make money King off this. Maker. So okay. it was like subconsciously, you know, I would train this guy and he's becoming a good DJ, this one. So I was like, okay, let me just make it a thing. So I started like a um, mm. DJ academy. I trained DJs. And then after a while, I signed them. Hmm. So the last one I did that got 
that, that made uh, the company really big is the banker lady. So we did like a radio, I, I partnered with the radio wow. station, like we wow. train out, learn how to DJ in, in three that's, weeks. Or that's interesting. Oh. So the winner was a female DJ, Tonic. She's a oh. banker. Oh, wow. No, 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 no free advert. No free yeah. advert. Okay. <laughs> Experience. Oh, see? Uh, I don't want you to talk to marketing downstairs, right? Oh. So no free advert. <laughs> so what, what I did was, so she, she, was, she won, she was the best student, because we did like an exam for them, and she, she was the one to play. And I was like, we gave her a two-year management deal. And she's doing really well till now. She's still mm. under the flag. Well, wow. in, in, so, in, in, interesting stuff. You have an international collaboration with some people coming up pretty soon. Yeah. You're, you're mm. dropping a new joint very soon. Yes. We're getting there. We're gonna we're gonna get to that. Yes. But before then, you worked with Mavin for a while. Oh yeah. You worked Maven. with uh, yeah. You worked with Mavin for a while. Oh. You were with uh, Ricardo Banks. I was primarily assigned to Tiwa, but I switched because I was feeling. Ricardo Banks vibe, and then it's new. His, his first song, Turn It Up. I, I can't remember his first yeah, song. Yeah, Baba God. Uh, I can't even remember. So there were five of us they signed there. Okay. Like five DJs. Right. Like, so, you know, they had like, they had the in house DJ then, so they were like six, so everybody okay. had like access. So it was before they dropped Ricardo Banks, Corey Bello, and DJ's first song. Right. They took us. So we, this, what we did then was we listened to the song, and after the song dropped, we spread it. The best place to spread your song. By the way, the best person to spread your song is a DJ. True. I, I, I agree. Yeah, true. Like, guy, listen to this song. I'm an artist. Once you're, you're, you're an artist, what's your law? my guy. What's your law? Unlike the artist going to me like about my song, no. If a DJ should go on with me to like, yo, DJ. I'm an artist. So that was basically what they used us for then. Okay. And it was good mutually. Cause okay, then, so, so why did you leave them? Uh, did, what, did you leave them because yeah, I'm not feeling you no more or you outgrew that, that, mm. that split? No, I'm still family. I, I, still, I still run things. I still get mails from there i still get i still dis, i still distribute their song and i still get free tickets to all their events so oh. i never i just i left because i got a deal to be to be signed under a record label okay. as an artist as an artist oh. that was where i went for that song you guys played yes in a risky situation so risky, yeah. i mm -hmm. um how it happened was i i went to i went with maven records to kampala to, to play nights of maven me and Yan Yan okay. really so then i made a song with a, with a Ugandan artist. Okay. So coming back to Nigeria, I pitched it to my friend. And he said, yo, if you can leave Maven and come Chai. sign with me. And I, I, yeah, what are you offering? He gave me a sports car. Okay. Gave me manager, man, manager and like, yo. I like, so you, you actually went for the money? No, it's my friend. Because Maven, no, 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 no. What Maven was doing, I was a DJ to Ricardo Banks. Till today, people still call me like Flamesy. I want to feature Ricardo Banks. So it oh. will it will always be around your artist. Sure, so I always tell all my DJs, like you, I'm sure they're actually doing everything. Like you first sign with a, with a, working with an artist is you have to do it. Everybody will do it because it will get you free trip, free trip. Sure, yeah. You know, but then you realize in the stage that after like four years, they ask you what have you achieved. Sure. You can say. I don't travel, go South Africa. I don't travel, go here. Australia. I don't do this. But mm. what have you really, really achieved? Really done. Because the thing about it is that your artist is going well. That's your achievement. Yeah, you are doing yeah. well. But personally, what about personally, you personally? What you, yo, I'm growing. I'm in my mid 30s. You won't know, right? But I am. Okay. So I have to do, and I got a deal. Like, you are the main guy. Like, like yeah, so the spotlight was so now still on good. you. It's still good. We still chat, me and you know, we, me and Rick, me and Tega, you know, once in a while, you okay. see Don Jazzy, oh, Baba, shame. you know. Cool. So, all those free tickets, you still get it, like, oh, I want to yeah, so This guy is still talking about this free ticket. Oh, oh yeah, this free ticket is very important. <laughs> very important. <laughs> no, it's quite important because they give you the VIP treatment, like, oh, you'll see your name at the gate. Like, oh, oh yeah, let's, go there. Let's, talk, let's talk about the new, the new project. <laughs> Please walk me through that new project and who and who and who do we have on it. Okay, so I got a call from an artist, I think in Texas or Atlanta, I can't remember. And like, yo, I want to drop a song. And you know, I do A and R for Untouch Gazi, the South African I'm a piano guy. So whenever okay, okay. in Nigeria, I go on the and do this um, show booking, yeah. radio tour and all that. And like, yo, Untouch, I have this artist, you know, you want to drop a song, okay, send me the song, I want to feature you. I was like, yeah, if you can if you feature me, that would be nice, but uh, wouldn't you like to feature a South African artist? Because he said he wanted to feature a Ghanaian DJ and a Nigerian DJ. Mm. And I was like, okay, mm. wouldn't you like to feature like a South African artist or South African DJ too. And I'm like, yeah, and I holla at Intosh Gazi. You, want, you like the song? So what happened is that Intosh Gazi came to Nigeria. We had to take his vocals in Nigeria. Oh, everybody wow. came to Nigeria to take vocals. Right here. I had to pick everybody mm -hmm. from here to the studio. 
take your vocals, this is what you say, this is what you do. Wow. do, do, do. So, yeah, basically, I say, I say it's like my project, but it's not my song. I'm I was featured. Yeah, featured. What's, what's yeah. size of this song, by the way? Wonder. Wonder. Yeah. Hey. When, is it, when is it dropping? On the 8th of December. December so, are we hearing your voice on this or you're just going to be screaming? <laughs> are you going to do you. what DJs do? Yeah, I'm here! Yeah! Or are we going to actually hear your voice? On this <laughs> you hear me say, Chi! You hear me say, Lagos. And, and then I said one thing at the end. And mm -hmm. you make money. Like, you just said, Chi! Lagos. And they're giving you millions. Like, can how you? is this even fair? How is life? What can we do with that? We need to go into a million. We need to find some Yeah, we are here shouting yeah, 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 every day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Chi, Lagos, I make millions. Come on. Am I going to be the president of this country? What, what, are, what are you changing? What are you doing right? I'm going to revamp the country. You know what that means? I'm going to remove every old guy. Every mm. old guy. Anybody that is above 55. Go and retire. 50, 55 is still okay now. Go and retire. 55 have, has experience. You can I said above. Stuff. Okay. Above 55. Right. Above 55. You're mm. 60. Can I say 60? Go and retire and let the youth take over and let's do something because I feel our generation is actually nice. <coughs> you notice while growing smart. up, you notice that you're, if, if you're from a rich home, like if you're like living in the Koei, most of your friends will be living around the Koei. Uh -huh. yeah. I didn't notice that. Uh -huh. But now, as a guy, we don't have, you not know, as if we don't have class, but we have, but we know the form. If your guy is from the trenches, you will see, ah, how far my guy? Sure. And, and you do, if you need some, something from anybody, like someone needs your help, we are, if you know this generation is actually by Corona taught us that that we are yeah. not bad. Like, because, true. bro, true. I, someone gave me five hundred k in Corona times. Wait, what? What did you do for this one? <laughs> I don't know. Just that shit. This was called baller. Hey God, you know, baller vibes. Just you know, I, I think this generation was just nice. So I think we need people, younger people to run the country. It's not as if yeah. the country is bad like that. Because Nigeria is a very good country. We just need people to run it and the do right people, the yeah. right thing they are meant to do. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do education or anything. All right. I'll just change everybody running it right now. Because I don't think they're running it well. Because if so they are, I won't be here. The first thing DJ mm. Flimsy has said he's going to do if he becomes, if Flimsy says he's going to revamp. Now, by revamping, he said from 50, 55? 55, okay, let's say 60. Okay, 60, yeah. okay, 60 yeah. upwards, gonna retire, he's going to retire you know. all of them retire. and get fresh, younger fresh hands. Younger I, 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 think, I think that's just the way forward, mm -hmm. actually. Your, one of your, okay, I won't say one of your, our daddy in the music industry, I, I acclaimed daddy recently, took a swipe at the lower rappers. That's why he calls himself. Like, he said they should be calling him Sir Daddy. So he took a swipe about. Our big boy in the industry. And now. I'm a whiskey fan, though, trust me, I don't like to you. Big well, one. but you are not toxic. I'm, I'm very, I'm very no, shocked I'm how come you're not toxic. What I, do you have to say about this matter? Seriously, honestly, on on on, on a real whiskey. I just feel like he was having a nice time there. She, you know? like it's whiskey now. Whiskey can just come and be like, guys. I'm not coming to Nigeria yeah. again. And then next week you see him in um, shrine, Sh shrine, chilling with Kanyukuti. So what is it? It's whiskey. That um, skit by just, Josh. You know how my guy were like. What was he saying? We did this. We did dance for a club. We did dance for Ray and for church before they look. If fisherman, fisherman will chop beans. I was like, oh, then I got the point. Like, it's risky. Like, it's risky. Yeah. Right? Like, why are you taking this serious? But guess what? People are stepping up their game. Exactly. He Because left to me, time. he said who and who and who. I think M I and who. He said Kodie, Casper, and Nuves, and uh, Nasty C are the only. He said those are the only rappers oh, he knows in Africa. I thought you mentioned Emma. No, he said Sako, the, uh, what's his name? Kweku, no, not Kweku, Black Sheriff, Black Sheriff and Sheriff. Nasty C. Nasty that those C. are the only rappers he knows in Africa. That every rapper he doesn't know. Yeah, wow. uh, you'll be fine now. He, he, he will be fine. Flimsy, how can I reach you? Because we have to go cut the time. How can we reach you on all your socials? Uh, D W E. Why are you looking at me? Look at you. Why are you looking They show me. They show me sexy eyes. So follow me on D W E F L A. No. Where is it? Why am I saying it? Huh. D W E J A Y F L A W M Z Y. DJ Flamesy. <laughs> DJ Flamesy. Yeah, that's it. Instagram, Snapchat, everything. And we, we await the wonder. The wonder drops on the 10th of yep. this month. Of this month. Right. That's like, I mean, days. 8th of this month. 8th. You said 10th. I, I said 8th. Oh, you said 8th. Did eight. you hear 10th or 8th? Eight? Eight. I, I heard 8th. I'm going with him. I heard 8th. What's why are you being it? I heard a You're supposed to support me. I Anyways, we gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much to every single person who's been part of the show. Thank you so so very much to you, Tony. Thank you to Tim Tim for being part of the show. But this is where we draw the curtains today. Uh, but thanks for watching one, one more time. Join the conversation on all our social media handles with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up with our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television and Star Times. Channel 308. A big thank you to my guy again. Flemsy, thank you yep. so very much for coming through. Thank you for sharing, sharing some knowledge. 
some this, this head of yours is his knowledge that is there. And his past gone. It's just past gone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever it is you do, do not drink and drive. Put God first and the rest is history. Drink a lot of water and mind, mind your, your business. business. It helps you live longer. We out.